everybody, it's Sivraj Studios here, and this is going to be my first Sony Vegas tutorial. Hopefully you guys will find this tutorial helpful, and hopefully I won't just end up confusing you. Anyway, the effect we are going to be creating today is the flash effect. Here's an example. Okay, open up your version of Sony Vegas. I use Vegas 8.0, but it doesn't matter. They do the same thing. What you want to do first is obviously import your clip and your audio by going to File, Import, Media. Locate your clip and click Open. And your audio. Right, drag your clip onto the track below and your audio below the clip. Okay, first thing you want to do when using an effect like this is making sure that it syncs well with the audio. To do this, you've got to line up part of the clip where you want the flash with a good point on the audio track. Usually, this is on a good large peak in the audio. I'm going to be doing it on this peak right here. Okay. To line up, just drag the clip until you get to the part where you want the flash. And you should be able to see what's going on in the preview screen up here. Okay. I want the flash to happen right after the sniper domes this kid. That's good right there. Okay. First of all, I think I should explain that there are two ways of doing the flash that I know of. Uh, one is using brightness and contrast and keyframing. Don't worry, it's not as complicated as it sounds. The other way is a transition. I don't think the transition actually looks very good because personally I think it looks cheap and doesn't sync properly. It, it just doesn't look good. How they would do this is by splitting the clip where they want the flash, right here, but you can do this by pressing S on the keyboard, and then they would go to the transition tab and find flash, and they would just drag that onto where the transition happens, or they were where they wanted it to happen, and you get this big old white flash that's really in your face, it looks cheap, you lose some of the footage in the transition so you can't really see the snipe properly, so we're not going to do that. Okay, what we're going to do instead is we're going to use an effect called uh, Brightness and Contrast and we're going to keyframe it. To find this effect, click on the Effects Event button right here. It'll open up this dialog box and find Sony Brightness and Contrast. Okay. To keyframe this, we use this little uh, track down here. And basically, whenever you change something, in here, it will create a keyframe down here, and that's how you animate things. First you want to go along here until you find the part where you want the flash. Again you'll be able to see what's going on in the previous screen. Okay, before you actually change any of these values, what you want to do is zoom in on this, so that you can see each individual frame, which is these little notches right here. You want to go back one frame and go to this drop down button reset to none what this does is it creates a keyframe so that nothing has happened up until now and then what we're going to do next is go one keyframe forward or just go to where the peak is and we're going to now change the values I usually put the brightness up to about 50 or 60 it's up to you. And the contrast to about 40, which just adds a little bit more flair, but again, it's up to you, you don't need to do that. Okay, now we need to keyframe the flash out, otherwise the rest of the clip will just have this same level of brightness and contrast, and it just, you can't see anything. Okay, to do this, depending on how long you want the flash to fade out, 
how subtle you want the effect depends on how far apart this next keyframe is from the one that we just created. I'm going to do it about, I don't know, 20 frames, which should give a kind of nice subtle fade out. Click on this and reset to none again. What this does is now returns it back to default, so the flash only happens during where you've keyframed it. If you have done this correctly, once you've rendered it out, it should be in sync with the music nicely and it should look pretty good. This was my first tutorial, uh, so go easy on me guys. I uh, hope it was helpful and please rate, comment and subscribe.